It's early August, and as some of the family meet one evening down in Christchurch Central to celebrate Russell's youngest child, Caitlin, turning 21. Today is August the 12th, it's a Wednesday. Late last night uh, the country received information that we have community transmission and as a result Auckland's being put into lockdown. There will be police borders. Once again, New Zealand is in a lockdown, with Auckland at level 2, meaning no travel for any Aucklanders outside of Auckland for at least a minimum of two weeks. So it was a matter now of not being able to see Dad for myself at least and my brother Michael and of course Julie still in Australia with her family. So we watched Dad through some photos and some footage provided by family. One obvious change was that he started to swell, his memory was being lost and he was repetitive on many things. It was time for the lockdown to finish and then we can start seeing him again. So it is the 9th of September 2020 and at 77 we're just arriving at his house to say happy birthday.
as I walked into Dad's house. It had been a month since I'd seen him, and I was quite shocked. He had difficulty dressing himself, and he was completely swollen. This was the first point where I knew today, on the 9th of September, that Dad didn't have long, using my medical background, I'd seen many in a similar situation. But we needed today to be positive, and so we remain strong. It's about one o'clock when the ship comes on again. Just, uh, relax. I'll go wee wee's. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, that'd be great, mate. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, thanks, mate. Okay. Right, you passed you. It was his birthday, and it might seem strange to some. Dad wanted to wait until I was with him to go to the nearest funeral home to start talking about his funeral service. It was important to Dad that he had the input and the design of this service. Feel about being here. I don't know. Find out when I leave. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you want it um, to be, so there's, there's there's a couple of options. You you have the, the coffin in place. Yeah. At the crematorium, or if you want to to have the the coffin carried in. I would prefer the coffin carry in. Okay. But there's only one well there'll be if duty not coming there'll be seven and normally a coffin only has six handles through. Can we put a seventh handle on? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'd I'd like that. Would that be an extra expense? To put an extra handle on? No. Whoever signs a death certificate, yeah. in, they've got to come up with some money. Right. It'll just flow, everything will just flow. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm so pleased that you're happy. I'll still get cremated and go with the very lawn, but by myself. I'll, I'll be in that cemetery and I'll have my own plaque, so. We are there having a party with him, so it doesn't matter, does it? We all know where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm quite happy about that. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to disturb we went to um, the funeral place with Dad. Like, how important was it for you to be there to go through that with him? Um, I think it was important for him to see me kind of be at peace with it as well, and for him to know that I know what's happening, which puts me at ease if he's at ease. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Russell. Thank you. Happy birthday, Russell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I laughed at the look on that guy when he looked at the ages. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nine months of heart. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. That was funny. What 
has it over the years that's attracted you to this place? What does it mean to you? Uh, having bloody good mates and everyone you know, really friendly and looking after each other and so and you know you're not going to get any trouble. Yeah, I did teach yeah. my yeah. dad. Yeah. yeah. That funeral it was really yeah. good, yeah. really professional. Was it? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Where's your medical alert, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel about that? Oh yeah. And then they had some really good mates. Yeah. Yeah. No. I knew they all stand up all stand up over up in that place for other people. And how important have they been in your like in particular for your being able to do this? And how important have they been in your like in particular with you being unwell? Oh, it's been everything. Shit yeah. They would have dropped everything in the drop of her hat to look after me if I needed to. Your dad called me 
accidentally, and I said, oh, that's a, that's a coincidence. Because it's num the numbers are right next to Carol's home line. Yeah. Like, oh, well, what the hell? It was time for me to leave and go back to Auckland. We'd had a good few days celebrating Dad's birthday and just hanging with him a little bit, getting an update. But little did I know, I'd be back sooner than I ever thought.